back live at Wimbledon, closing in on 8 p.m. And another extended fifth set match. Love 15. There've already been an amazing number of five set matches at, at these championships. Two more today, Soderling beating Ferrer in five, and this one's still to be determined. Thirty matches already, 35 setters. In four rounds, that's the most here at Wimbledon in 16 years. Fifteen all. Just shows you how big Roddick has been serving because this guy's nice. got a pretty good return. 15 30. He laid into that ball there. 2.2 in. Mm. He missed a pretty easy second serve at Love 15. Let's see what he can come up with here. He went for the uh, clay court return. He was trying to get it deep, and he did. He didn't have much on it. it he mishit it a little bit. But still, it was a big time play. Official review coming. Acer wide. It is wide. Second serve. Oh, and how big is that? No, I'm kidding. Match point for Lou. Just the second time in this match that Lou has reached a break point, and this one is for the whole thing. I never thought I'd hear that. Match point, Lou. Here we are. 30, 40. Chinese Taipei. The first Asian man to be a quarterfinalist at a slam in 15 years since Shuzo Matsuoka. And we've witnessed over the last half dozen years the arrival of Chinese women. It is now a Chinese man, and he sends home a three-time Wimbledon finalist. Well, he played as if he was afraid to lose uh, Roddick. He never really went after it, and in the end of the day, he thought this guy still would tighten up Lou, who hadn't been in this position, but he didn't. I mean, it was magnificent that he continued to play at a high level. And Roddick opened for the door to make this guy believe that this could happen. And lo and behold, Roddick is, has to deal with another brutal defeat here at Wimbledon. It was the two-all game, two-all in the fifth when Roddick was at 15-40. That was the shot. You thought that uh, this guy would blink. And uh, here he is in the quarters. It's amazing. And you know, John, we were... 
Mary and I were talking about this uh, as well. You know, you think how, how deep the hurt was last year for Andy to get over Wimbledon. And this one's got to hurt even more. Well, to lose this one, to yeah. come back well, here, what to do you lose, think? Well, to lose I, this I, one? I, in a way, yes, because you're playing a guy that you're, you're, everyone expects you to be. I mean, the Federer thing, you'll go down in history in a way. And this one is just ignominy. It's just, uh, it's and, very harsh. And it's, you live at a time when the Wimbledons are becoming precious for Andy. And uh, there will be no rematch with Federer for Roddick. That would have been a semifinal. A potential Federer obstacle in his half is gone in Roddick. And now it'll be Novak Djokovic against Liu Yen Sun for a spot in the semifinals at Wimbledon. Five sets and a stunner. Just the third time that Liu Yen Sun has ever beaten a top 10 player. He had beaten Andy Murray in the first round of the Beijing Olympics, but nothing close to a win of this magnitude to take out a three-time Wimbledon finalist and to become the first Asian man to reach the quarterfinals of a slam in 15 years. No Asian man has ever gone further than the quarters of a slam. And just moments ago after leaving the court, Liu Yen Sun spoke to the BBC. Many congratulations, your greatest win. Thank you very much. I mean, I fight in the end. I mean, even now, I, I was thinking it's a dream or something happens. I, I mean, I, just, I couldn't ima imagine this moment now, yes. Mm. I, I, you'll wake up tomorrow and you'll think to yourself, but it wasn't a dream. I mean, it is a fantastic moment, especially after that fourth set. Uh, yeah, I mean, I probably I need the time to, you know, to clean my mind and uh, to call him down and see what's happened because I mean, I, I really, from the beginning, I just tell myself to fight and I lost the fourth set. I think it's a better chance for him because it's a long game. So I just tell myself to stay, to stay, to stay, and finally I get the chance. What will the people back home make? Because it's just after three o'clock in the morning there. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, probably this TV, the TV wise, and uh, I mean, I'm happy to share in the factory for the, all the Taiwanese people and also special my family there. They cannot come in here with me this time, but uh, I bring the win for them. Yeah, you certainly did. Give them a message because they'll probably be watching it shown around the world. Yes, I mean, thank you, my <laughs> thank you, my family, my brother, my mother. Brilliant. And, yeah, and, and lastly, you played Djokovic in the quarterfinal. What a thrill. Yeah, I mean, right now, I, I didn't sing this match because it's two days. Uh, so I just tell myself I recovering and I have a doubles tomorrow and also I gonna see all the condition but I will tell myself to fight again. Sleep well tonight. Many congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Brilliant. There you go. He needed four hours, thirty-six minutes, and finally at nine seven in the fifth, Lu Yen Sun breaks Andy Roddick to pull off the biggest upset of this year's Wimbledon. Well, here's the scene a moment ago as Liu Yen Sun is escorted from court two. The only thing I can think of, Mary, when I see this picture is better not let Venus Williams see this. She's going to wonder <laughs> where those guys were for her today, huh? She would have been waiting around for security to get her to get her out to court two, then finally kind of took it upon herself. She ended up with some. But, uh, yeah, this is the man of the hour. This is the biggest. In a, in a tournament that's already had a lot of stories, this one tops them all. Absolutely. And again, the impact in his country. And you heard it in that interview, how many times he referenced. He knows how yes. huge this will be in Chinese Taipei and in China and in Asia for an Asian player to be here in the final eight at Wimbledon, the first time for a man to do it since Shuzo Matsuoka made the Wimbledon quarters 15 years ago. And, and keep in mind that, that, that so now the men's quarters are set and Li Na tomorrow plays Serena Williams on center court. So. Yeah, they're, they're celebrating back there. Of course, uh, at the top and the bottom, you've got Federer, Burdich. Burdich beat Federer this year in Miami. At the bottom, Nadal closing in on another match with Soderling. So some great quarters ahead. But Lou Yen's son, the story of the day. When we come back, we will show you Serena Williams and Maria Sharapova in the marquee women's match of the day on NBC.